For this video, we're going to conduct a hypothesis test for means from dependent samples. So it looks like we have a gun that fires a shell, and the muzzle velocity is recorded from uh, two devices. We'll call it device A and device B. And we can say that these are matched pairs data uh, because measurements A and B are taken uh, from the same round. Right? So this is the first uh, round that's fired, and these are the two speeds. Second round that's fired, the two speeds. Okay, so next we're asked, um, is there a difference in measurement of the velocities between device A and device B? Um, so we can use StatCrunch to help us out. So I click the table button, and if you scroll down, it says uh, your table's been copied and ready to go. So I'll click OK, and then we can paste this directly into StatCrunch. So I highlight my first column, I hit Control v there's a preview of my data, and here's my data. Um, so now it looks like um, we want to compare the means. So I'm going to press stat, uh, t stats, and our data is paired. Uh, so we'll say column, I guess, A and column B. And if we wanted to see the differences, I mean, I can, I can check this box and we'll actually display the differences. Um, it's not necessary for this problem. And then we want to conduct the hypothesis test. And again, we're asked, um, I guess at the 1% level of significance, do we reject? Um, so it looks like we're basically going to say that the difference is zero or it's not. Um, I press compute, and it looks like my p-value is 0 0.0141. So we have to compare that against our level of significance, which is just 0 0.01. So it looks like this number is greater than our level of significance. So that means we do not reject the null hypothesis. I press OK. and says fantastic. The next question asks us to construct the 99% confidence interval uh, about the population mean difference. So if I go back to StatCrunch, if I click on Options, Edit, I can actually just click the Confidence button and change this to 99% and press Compute. And now I have my lower limit and my upper limit. So I'm going to enter this. I think I've rounded correctly. I'll press Enter. And I get the good job. And then to summarize our results, we can say with 99% confidence, the mean difference uh, in measurements lies somewhere in between this interval. Center, and we get the check.